Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and in this video we're going to cover mission number four, the Communion. This is on the European Pyramid, and this one is against basically all Cabal, so it's the one time this picture is a little misleading. Um, as that is the first week, I've still got no radar, and you know, more health and difficult to stun. Power cap for your gear is going to be 1405. Previously it was like 1355, but I mean that was over the course of three missions. It never went up that much. So you've likely accumulated some gear in those first three missions. If you aren't quite 405 yet, I would recommend trying to get there. It's a good time to do stuff from Season of the Risen, PsyOps Battlegrounds, do some stuff with Finch on the Throne World. Just drive around there and experiment with a public event. Pick up some chests and resources so you can get some uh, reputation with Finch. All of that stuff is a good way to get your power cap up. Once you're up to 1405, my recommendation is to have a void weapon with you a lot. Now, I toyed around with Graviton Lance just because I've been using different stuff on different characters. If you have this weapon, it's absolutely killer. Um, there's so much void in here. This thing's got a ton of range, especially if you have the catalyst on it. And Cosmology gets you some nice um, explosion kills too. So... Graviton Lance, definitely putting in some work. Um, if you don't want to use an exotic there, of course, Gallahorn's a good option. I'm going to run Ascendancy. If you're keeping these legendary and you can run something like Arbalist up here, then you've got some nice potent damage and a linear fusion rifle up top. All pretty good. If you run a Night Stalker, more Orvius Rig is going to get you three shots on Mobius Quiver. So that one's definitely going to get you a ton of damage since it hits like a truck now. But whatever class you're running on, definitely, you know, just synergize with the class. I'm still running Void just to go full Void 3.0. But yeah, lots of Void Shields, Cabal the entire time. So let's jump inside. This one is a bit of a lengthy myth mission. So if you guys do need to skip around and look for a certain section that you're having issues with, just kind of jump ahead. It kind of plays about a 40 minute mission, I think. So here we go. All right, Guardians, when you start, you can just jump on your Sparrow because you get a little bit of a drive while you've got some chat going on. From this pyramid once before, Guardian. Ikora believes there is more to be found. Look how, how big this pyramid is. Darkness. Help us understand the voices. It's huge. Found shell. Reach the statue at the heart and the void the begins. Watch for the machine guns. The darkness, and you will see beyond the limitations of normal sight. While I get a lot more explosions with Graviton Lance, I will definitely say the range with a bow still hits really hard and really well. Yeah, you're just going to be Cabal the entire time. There's a couple of Arc Shields, a couple of Solar Shields. So your uh, Ascendancy or Galahorn is still going to be a Solar down there. It's probably better than an Arc one, I can tell you. Yeah, the Void Shields just do not stop. There's just a couple of random other ones. Yeah, Void is, like, pretty much the entire time. No more Sparrows, so that was short-lived. Again, if you start with low ammo, you can go hit a Rally Flag. You can go get a public event to start, but at least we get a Rally Flag to start. Defectors march upon the European Pyramid, searching for trinkets of darkness. Their expedition is not Make sure you hit these. These always count as your checkpoint. Kind of an important thing. I'll say that in every mission just to remind people who haven't heard it. Remember this area is a place to hide if you need it. You're going to have a lot of stuff coming at you, including a tank at some point in here. So just hang back, use this area for cover, and you're going to be dealing with a lot of enemies for a little while from here. So just get comfortable and start working them down. I would probably save your, like, super for the bigger boss. And if you want to put a rocket into him, that's not a horrible idea. Those guys died a lot quicker than I thought they would, but they must have been weakened from my grenade. Again, weaken if you can get that on one of your aspects is really, really powerful. Actually allows the enemies to, to take more damage. So eventually at some point, the tank is going to come out of there. But I'm trying not to push up too much because there's a lot of guys coming. And eventually they will just start uh, kind of overrun you almost if you get too too aggressive. So stay back here and try and clear them out from range. Now there's no burn. I'm just putting in work with my bow. So 
I am running minor spec on my bow just because that's exactly what I'm shooting about 90% of the time with this weapon. So if you feel like you're wondering what to put on there, you don't really need like counterbalance or anything on a PvE weapon. Anything for extra damage in PvP is what we're going for. And there's the tank. Literally just if you move forward enough, you're going to get that thing to show up. Careful. And then at this point, just start using your cover. And if you feel like you're really overrun, pull back here and use this entire ice shelf if you really need to. You don't have to be too exposed on this one. Remember the big thing on the tanks is the wheels if you're trying to go for crit damage. Something like a sniper, linear fusion. It's all about breaking those wheels. That's the biggest thing. Now, with a primary, it takes a little while. Special weapons usually a little better. It's kind of hard to hit it specifically with a rocket. But if you have one smoking, don't shoot that one. Ow. I need, like, one shot. There it is. Usually you got to break about three wheels, but unfortunately that'll take most of your sniper ammo. So hopefully we got some coming up. And you're going to have more adds back that direction. So push forward, grab any ammo. I know I killed a decent amount of guys over here. Seems like we are not done. Nice way to get some ammo back. Oh, that's a new one, actually. An energy weapon, the Ogma. That's one I don't think I've actually seen yet. Not anything crazy about it, just don't think I've actually seen it yet. A lot of enemies over there. Again, lots of shields. Every one of those incendiors have a void shield. And I did most of this fight from up here on this bunker, actually. So you got a little verticality if you need it. You kind of just duck down and miss most of the shots. Just watch the tank shots coming at you. It's the biggest thing. Watch that guy down there as well. Now at this point, I'm just going to go unload my super on this guy. I don't know if I can kill it quite as fast as I would like, but we'll see. And again, you do get rally flags pretty frequently. So those will fully recharge you, so you may as well spend some of that good ammo that you've got. And that should be a wrap on that one. I'm basically out of rockets and everything, but again, you get rally flags pretty frequently per encounter, so you may as well use them. I've been actually pretty bad about that. Grab the spoils here, because there's a crap ton of them as usual. And commune, and we going up. Seriously, I've never spent more time in a pyramid ship than we're right here about to really cool enjoy the architecture in here i'm gonna go through this one as fast as i can but i recommend looking around and just taking everything in it's actually really really cool so when you go up you won't be able to go straight through the doorway you're gonna have to go over here Have you ever seen like alien vs predator when the ship actually changes on you that's kind of what this does which is cool i know that's not like the most amazing movie in the world but it's a fun one you got things that start moving around not really like too much of a puzzle, but if you get a little turned around, that's mostly why, because things are shifting on you. Eris, the pyramid is reacting to our presence somehow. Opening doors. Yeah, pay attention to the fact that the pyramid is actually helping us now, and then later on, it's not so much. Very interesting. This story, I'm curious where they go with it. You get a little pit. So you get this one to land. My advice is just keep sprinting over here, get yourself into some cover, and then we can start working on the ads. Not a ton of them over here. This one isn't quite as big of an encounter quite yet. But you will have a few adds here. Not too crazy. You can get a little aggressive or you can blow up some barrels. This bridge is actually going to come out for us so we can make it across. There are a couple lengthy encounters in this one, I will tell you. So make sure you hit those rally flags, get those checkpoints. But it's going to take some patience on some of these. And this is kind of the first encounter. And it's going to teach you the second one is a bigger, longer version of this one. So you're going to see this little...
You're going to see this little radar jammer thing or signal jammer that we've got to deal with here. In the next and kind of final room, which is the full kind of fight, you're going to have three of these to deal with that you've got to clear out each time. And you still got one in the middle that's a bit hectic. So in here, you've basically got the option to kind of work from above. So work from above, work from below, do what you need to do to kind of move around. But you also notice I did not hit a rally flag here, so I messed up. And I think there was one. So make sure you check for that rally flag because I'm pretty sure I missed a lot of ammo. Hopefully I can get some to drop. But yeah, getting up here, you get a little verticality until they actually join you. But you can't actually get across. Between Devour and Overshield, I'm kind of running. Got to make sure I embrace the invisibility of the hunter here. Any of y'all want to drop an, some ammo? And by ammo, I mostly mean rocket. There we go. That's the one I figured was coming. So depending on whether you got overshield or what you're doing, look for the big guy. He doesn't really have a boss bar, but he is going to be around. This is just kind of an opening to it. But yeah, those, those little signal, jam signal jammers get to be a thing later on. Who am I missing? Like one dog somewhere? Speaking of dogs, since I'm recording this one, it is uh, Thursday, and we're taking our dog in literally for basically ACL surgery. So throw some good vibes out in the universe for Enzo. Yeah, this is just the opening, not even, yeah, not even worthy of a rally flag, so... There's multiple encounters. That's why I say this is a quite a long mission. So up top, you're going to have Kaland of Ads. No need to quite rush up there. So play this one from range. It's going to make your life a little easier. Got a couple of big boys. Those are actually good ones to hit with rockets as well, just because they have solar shields. Again, a nice little tracking rocket if I can make sure I get a shot on him. That ought to hit him. There we go. I got one more straggler over here. He's going to get a rocket to the face as well. Just got to get him in position. Where'd you go, buddy? Enjoy. Getting a little overrun here. We have void shields are rampant, to say the least. Wish I would have actually followed up with his shield so I didn't have to do this, but at least I can still kill him. There you go. It's not full-on match game where it's going to take you an hour with a primary, but it does take some time. See if you were lucky enough to get any ammo. I got sniper for days up here. Got to go around the side door, so we're going in here. You said the pyramid recognizes something in us, Eris. But what? And then again, we're working through getting this, like, voiceover. But yeah, this whole pyramid place looks fantastic, to be honest with you. It could be any of those. Or none. My Cora, too, has asked this question. And my answer is always the same. One minigun up there, so be careful with that guy. But yeah, just take a second and look in at the scale of this thing. It is absolutely enormous and just very ominous as well. All right, so this is going to be your next encounter. You're going to have floating platforms in here. So get ready to be speedy in here. Make sure you're reloaded before you touch down. You're going to have a lot of ads in here. So just be aware. Kind of move up and down and around between the platforms and just be mobile is the best way I can say this one. Because it goes pretty fast. There you go. It doesn't take long. Visibility on this one might actually help more than sitting up here with a rift, for example. Yeah, watch for these guys. Some of them, they can hop back and forth between platforms pretty quickly. 
And again, I feel like I'll probably have like a bigger an issue on my warlock than I have here for whatever reason. Watch for the gladiators. If they get on the same platform as you, then you're going to be in trouble if they smack you around because then you could go flying off or just take a giant cleaver to the face, one or the other. Yeah, the verticality up here will help you just stay alive. And again, even just switching between platforms, they're going to have to switch too, so you may as well just do it as well. Check down below. I see Doggo over there. I don't think the pyramid is helping us out of generosity, Guardian. All right, onward. It's really not too bad. Okay, this is one of the main encounters. See the uh, actual radar jammer thing there? Remember that? Because this is one wave-length encounter. You're going to have, like, two full-length boss fights in this place. So you can start by clearing out these ads. Most of what you'll be doing for a while in here. I start over here mostly just because this is where you walk in the room and the enemies aren't quite as close to you. Clear out some ads that way. I'm gonna have some snipers up top, so watch for the scions. And things are gonna get going pretty quickly. If you can tag those guys early, it's gonna make life a little easier. Depending on which direction the boss comes in. Now, invisibility works, but I'm just going to go ahead and... That's going to move him to his immunity phase, and that's also going to get him off of this ledge, typically. So then, you can actually work most of it from up here. So if you dump a super in up top, it's actually going to be a good idea, because it gets him off of here and down below. Kind of one of the main reasons I do that to start. And the verticality is going to give you a nice little bit of option for flexibility. You've got a couple statues to hide behind. But a lot of the shots from below aren't quite going to hit you up here, which will help quite a bit. And then from here, just start working down the ads. At some point, you got to get down there and actually hit uh, hit the radar jammer, but it's much easier just to clear the ads up here at first. You can use the big statue for cover. You tend to have a little bit of safety up here. The next room, you got to move a little bit more, so enjoy this one for now. You have a little bit more cover up here than you do later on. Scions could come up here in a future wave, which is fine, but it's not the end of the world. There we go. A couple runs. This guy just takes a lot of shots. Alright, when you feel like you've got just about everything, get a quick reload so you can actually dump some damage into him, which is good. And from here, we're going to pretty much go hit the jammer and run right back up where we were. Because when you break this jammer, then you're going to be able to do damage to him. Which are also going to get more adds. There will be scions, so if you run back up top, be aware. He does tend to kind of park it, so you're in a reasonable position there. And as I said, just be aware, you're going to be up here, whether you get... So now is a good time for your rocket shots. Also, if you can grenade and get a little weakness on him. Hit for quite a bit more. Got a little void invisibility. And then now the shield is back up. So now again, same principle. Just focus yourself on the ads. Just don't back yourself off the edge over here. I'm going to tend to focus on the shields first, just because I am doing a lot of void damage. And also the Incendior tanks will explode and tend to kill somebody else, so that's a nice thing to focus on, just to speed it up. Graviton Lance was absolutely amazing in here for the, like, multiple ad clear. You kill one, Cosmology would kill, like, three more. They're all grouped up together. Like, Graviton Lance, if you've got it in here, it's worth it. Like, if you've got the Infusion Fodder, at least. Put the work in on that one, it's good. And if you don't have that Catalyst as we're leaning into Void 3.0... I highly recommend it. So when this happens, I'm going to go dump on my uh, super on him once again, just because I know I'm going to have to do some damage to him. So I'm going to try and end this quickly. 
You'll catch me doing that quite a bit. It's not going to clear out all of the ads. You still might have some more coming. But you have a few stragglers left and then they should dissipate. So you're going to have your encounter chest up to... It's over here on this side. Grab your goodies. Got a few ads across the way here. I'm going to have a few stragglers so you can work along the outside. Don't jump as early as I did until this platform is out because it takes a minute to get there. I always, I'm always i used to that platform being there like on a previous run. So then when it's not, I'm like, oh crap, too soon. Up above, you'll have a couple, but you got some stragglers over here. Use the explody barrels. May as well. Don't get to come back through here. I also smell, I'm recording this in the morning. I think my wife is making like maple oatmeal or something. I can smell it, so. Smells pretty good. Here we go. All right, big giant pyramid ship architecture, onward and upward. All right, so mid-recording, basically got a phone call that um, <laughs> my dog's surgery is delayed, so he's just he's gonna get to limp for about another week. So yeah, put out some good vibes for the for him. He's definitely gonna need him here. Anyways, back to combat. Uh, you got one Colossus here. It is an arc shield, one of the few ones, but as it's like just a red bar, the shield really isn't that much of a struggle. And then you got one more back here in the back. Honestly, just. Get a rocket back here, and you're probably going to put the work in that you need. So if I can break the shield, get a little reload. Of course, he's going to hide when I break the shield. Here, we're just going to hit you straight on. There we go. And finish it up quick. See, so yeah, you got a couple in-between sections. Just kind of look around, enjoy the pyramid architecture. It's fairly cool, because we're going up a level again. Full on reload. And then, at this point, we are getting, I think, close to the final encounter. And you'll know, because it's a fairly substantial boss room when we get here. Said that this new ability allows you to see but this area is absolutely massive, and we've been exploring a good and chunk of it. With the pyramid, you might be able to see the imprint on Sagira's shell. It's strange. The light made you forget, and now the darkness helps you remember. Yeah, some interesting voice lines with all the stories, so definitely make sure you watch and listen to the story in the campaign. It's very, very good. So, make sure you get your checkpoint up here. Don't want to have to redo any sections. So, this is the room that's going to have the three radar jammers. One over there, kind of in, depending on where you're at. One over there, one middle of the room, and one far back corner over there. Just like before, each boss phase, but now you're going to have to disable all three Cabal devices. So, you got to move a little more. There's not like a prime position for cover in this one. So we're going to clear out all the ads, try and commune, and then we're going to kick off the boss. Yeah, we got some weather around here. I'm in, like, the North Texas area, and just there's ice on the roads and stuff like that, and it's a long drive for some people around the area, so... Pretty much what we got to do here is disable the Cabal devices to get it started. You're going to get some boss damage just as I previously did. I'm going to get the boss damage chunk um, basically with my super so it goes quickly. I'll do the middle section with rockets and then the last one by then I'll probably get up with my super as well. And clear all the adds now. You may as well. You don't need any extra adds running around. The boss is coming, going to come out of where we came in so he's going to come out of there. So if you want kind of your best shot at him, honestly do it, you know, this one and this one before, or do these two. So then you can end on the back one and hang out behind the statue. The statue is probably your best piece of cover. It's not perfect, but it's kind of your best option for cover, at least from range. So once you get all three disabled, I'm going to wait for him to get close, but you're also going to have a lot of ads coming out from everywhere. So if I get a shot at getting my Mobius Quiver on him, then I will. Otherwise, I'll just wait in the back until he gets closer. Yeah, for now, you can actually dump some damage in.
So if you can hit him with a grenade, that, again, remember, you can still weaken with your grenade so I can get more out of each shot. Hitting 11k instead of 9k. All right, so he's immune. So now, this is probably the one place. This big statue is probably your best piece of cover. But as I said, it's not perfect cover. You're going to be surrounded by a lot of stuff. So just be ready to kind of check both sides. If you got a... If you're a warlock and you got a healing rift over here, that's going to be a really good choice. If you got a titan and an overshield, you can actually stand behind this ledge and get a lot, a little bit more body cover over here. Yeah, you can clear a lot of adds from back here, so just be careful you don't back off. There's a little bit to land below because there's a lower platform, but there's not a lot of room over here, so just be cautious. But again, in between every wave, try and really clear out each set. Notice all the Scions really watch the snipes. And if you need to clear the adds in the middle, nice little rocket should do some a good chunk. If you got a lot of adds in a group and you got some heavy ammo, you may as well spend it every so often. Yeah, clear everything so you got a decent run at the radar jammers. That should be just about all of it for now. Again, you won't fall down here. You can use these parts as cover. I like to literally use the statue as cover. Actually, it's the radar jammer, though. And some of the ads do keep coming. So, waiting forever is not going to quite work. But I did get one of them shifted. Okay, the ads will kind of continue to come. So, you want to clear as many as you can. Feel like you're at a decent stopping point. And then just try and make sure you're staying mobile, staying moving, and watching the guys. Because, yeah, it does seem like there's kind of a continuous spawn. I don't think it's, like, an indefinite uh, situation, but it seems like it could be, so you don't want to just wait forever. So get to where they're low as things move. When you basically get any of them done, you're also going to get more adds to spawn, so be careful when you do any of these sections. So if you're making jumps like this, watch the floor, because obviously it's gone. But again, use the jammer as a little bit of cover. And we're going to be all three. So same thing here. Depending on what the boss does, use that as cover. I'm trying to get my rockets used. And then if you feel like you're in a bad position here... Just move and get out of there. It's not the best, but until you do too much damage to them, you got a chance to move. So that's what I would recommend. This is kind of the most comfortable fighting spot up here. And you're typically not going to get overrun as much. Yeah, you can get shot from either side, but you're not going to get kind of walked all over if things get too close. That was a fun way to fly. Thanks, Scion, buddy. Where'd you come from? Apparently we are Scion heavy right now. Yeah, watch for the Scions. They are apparently out on phase two. Now, as I got this far, I am just going to try and snipe the damage in. There we go. Phase three. Now, next one, I will use my super. I probably should have done that earlier, as I kind of said I would, but... I will use my super as soon as I get all three radar jammers. So you want to clear house, make sure you got a decent run at this, and as you open the jammers, you're definitely going to have more ads, so be careful about that. So don't rush it, but also you can't wait forever. So if you can be a little aggressive here, it's not a horrible idea. And notice how I'm using the statue as my main piece of cover. If one side is bad, use the other side. Kind of go back and forth and bounce between them. Give yourself hopefully a decent shot here. Void resistance, less beneficial. Actually, void resistance probably wouldn't be bad, but solar would be good too if you're set on fire. So depending on if you, as you can, again, by now, if you can get like the unlock on your artifact for arc, solar, and void. So on a void chest piece, arc and solar resistance mods on there and go. I feel like you got things mostly cleaned out. Get some cover. That's one. 
I'm actually going to end up in the middle so I'm close to him so I can hopefully unload my super on him by the time I'm done. Again, work your way around the outside. If you keep up with the ads, it doesn't seem as terrible. That's two. Pyramid's going to shift again. And when the pyramid shifts, the geometry may change. So if you feel like you're hitting an invisible wall, it's because you're about to not hit an invisible wall. So I'm going to kind of dump my grenades in there. Get the jammer disabled if possible. And then if it's disabled, I'm going to go for him just straight away. And try and dump everything into him so you can end this quickly because similar as before as soon as he dies everything else ends too one more rocket and just don't shoot a wall <laughs> promise you have shot a wall and had to start the entire fight over you would be in the same room but you have to start the fight over if you die so grab your double loot chest of fun all of them I gotta go check my postmaster after this, and then you are gonna commune with the statue. So that is pretty much it. So enjoy the story beats. And I'm gonna wrap this one up here. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like below, leave a comment if you got questions. Find you guys on Twitter and Twitch. If you are not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the alert bell. And those of you who are channel members or Patreons, thank you. You guys are rock stars. Have a good one. We might not notice the effects until we're back in Sabathun's